Hello my besties, how are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. If you are here for the first time, my name is Kathy and this is my birdie, Tweety. Tweety, say hello my besties. <laughs> well, in today's video, I'm so excited to share with you my greatest find from the Dollar Tree. Ta-da! <laughs> Look at these bunnies. Can you believe they're just a dollar each? I am so excited to craft with these today. Of course, we're gonna give them a nice makeover and uh, let's see what else we could do. So before we proceed, I'm gonna ask you to please hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already and automatically become my bestie. <laughs> All right, let's get started. I hope you can find these. If not, you can use the same techniques for any other bunnies. And here's the UPC code if you like to look them up online. Tweety, leave the bunnies alone, come on. <laughs> to embellish the bunnies, we're gonna use feathers, pearls, beads, any gems you might have, also ribbons. This ribbon comes from Hobby Lobby, it's 50% any other week. Also Dollar Tree has a great selection of ribbon. Also, we're gonna need some wire. This is 22 gauge wire from Home Depot. In addition, we're gonna need some fabric. You can use a Dollar Tree placemat. Sometimes they have some fabric squares. I actually have a, only a piece here because I made a pillow out of this placemat already. And I'm so glad I saved that piece because these are perfect spring colors for the bunnies now. <laughs> if, by the way, if you like to see that video, uh, I'm gonna provide a link in the description box below. So here's that piece of the placemat, and I'm thinking that it's gonna make a perfect little dress for our bunny. What do you think? <laughs> I love those colors. And I hate to be brutal, but ripping out the arms is the easiest way to do this. Ooh, sorry, little bunny. <laughs> I'll put you back together in a minute. <laughs> So the dress doesn't have to be that long. I can cut off a little bit and I'm gonna cut off about two inches from the top because I wanna keep the bottom edge that's already finished. You know, we wanna keep it that way, makes it easier for us. And then we're just gonna wrap it around the bunny and add some glue right there. And to finish off the top, I'm just gonna use a pearl strip. You can use any ribbon you have on hand actually. It looks like a choker, right? <laughs> you can top it off with a gem on the side. Let's glue back those arms. They come right there of the shoulders. Next, I'm gonna do a trick. Pull out a wire out of the ribbon just on one side. And uh, as you can see, as I'm pulling and scrunching the ribbon, it, it becomes a raffle. I want to use that cute little raffle around the bottom of the skirt of the bunny. Something like this. So let me measure to size and cut it off there. And then I just insert that cute little raffle all around the skirt and use hot glue to attach it there. But first, let me tie together those little wires that I pulled out. That way it doesn't unravel.
so cute. Next, I want to coordinate her ears with the ruffles. Why not? <laughs> I just fold over the edges of the ribbon and make it pointy, like her ears. I'm going to glue these in, but first I'm going to insert a piece of wire in each ear to make them bendable. You can just insert the end of the wire in Bunny's head and then cover the whole thing with the ribbon. Look at this now. You can bend and shape these ears any way that you like. Isn't that adorable? The bunny got a totally new life. <laughs> Superstar! <laughs> so I have this beautiful ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It's velvet with the pearl edge. Ooh, special wind effects? No, <laughs> just the bird landing on my head. <laughs> so I want to use it and I'm just going to make a little bow tie here for the rabbit and put it on her head. Just fold over, pinch and tie it with the floral wire. So cute. The wire is showing, so to cover it up, I'm gonna use the pearls. Add a dab of hot glue and attach it to her head. If you want, you can also add a little pearl on top of her necklace gem. You know, just those little details. You know I like the details. That's why I'm also adding some feathers around her bow. Because the lady needs some locks over there. <laughs> some behind the ears. Let's make her legs a little bit hairy too. <laughs> She's not shaving, not before summer. What's missing? The cottontail. I can't believe the bunny came without a cottontail. Uh, luckily, I found those white pompons at a Dollar Tree, so I'm going to add in the back. And now she's complete. <laughs> Let me know how do you like her. And before we start working on her boyfriend, I want to show you something. Aren't these the most beautiful donuts you had ever seen? Oh my goodness. Valentine's Day came early this year because we traveled a sledding this weekend. And as we were passing through Pennsylvania and um, Scranton, the electric city, we saw the signs for the Krispy Kreme. And of course we had to stop by. Like it says here, we all crave experiences that bring more joy to our lives, right? <laughs> and these were just exquisite. 
So we got the Valentine box and we also got a box of the minis, mini original that were just so good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and well, I have an excuse now, right? I have this little uh, donut uh, shop in my own house. You saw the video with the awning and everything, the donut wall. I need to keep it stacked. <laughs> and just in case you missed that video, I'll provide a link for you in the description box below. And look how beautiful they look here. Don't you agree? I needed them. <laughs> So we stayed a couple nights in upstate New York and I'm going to share with you some video clips from Play in the Snow at the end of this video. But uh, we stopped by at the Dollar General one day and I found these adorable squishies. They'll be perfect for the reefs, just one dollar each. Uh, but also look how cute they look in the bar. They blend in so perfectly with the donuts, right? <laughs> so sometimes if I don't have donuts, I'll use them for the decor. And look at the cute towel I found for a dollar too. Eat more whole foods. Don't we all need to eat more whole foods? <laughs> All right, let's work on the boyfriend now. Oh my goodness, the little guy is embarrassed. She's all dressed up and he's naked. <laughs> so I had this uh, old velvet jacket. I haven't worn it in years. I was gonna toss it out, but then I thought, mm, it's a nice fabric, I could do something with it. So I think I'm gonna make a jacket for the bunny. You know, he's gonna be fancy too. He has to be with the lady like that, right? <laughs> so I'm just looking for the easiest way of doing this, either using a sleeve or maybe the flap of the packet. What do you think? That could be a nice front. It's already finished edge. So that's what's better of using old clothes than versus, uh, you know, pieces of fabric. So I'm gonna use those two packet flaps for the front. And uh, if you have any unfinished edge, that's what you do. You're gonna glue on the edge and fold it over under. <laughs> so cute little jacket. As you see, I did rip out the hands already because that's the easiest way to work with these bunnies. So you don't have to cut out holes for arms. And uh, I'm just gonna close it like that. Remember that strip I cut off from the girl's uh, dress? I'm thinking to use a little bit here, maybe like a vest sticking from under the jacket, uh, just to coordinate him a little bit with the girl. And look at that, isn't that adorable? Looks just like a little vest, right? <laughs> and we're gonna use every single inch of that fabric. This is not even enough for around the neck, but we're gonna fold the edges under and we're gonna make it work. <laughs>
looks so handsome. Nothing better than a well-tailored suit, right? And now a bow tie. I have some of the green plaid. I think it's from last year Joanne's fabric. Very simple, just fold over some ribbon, cut it off, pinch it in the middle and tie it with a floral wire. Actually, there's a little strip in the middle of the bow tie, so we're just gonna cut off one more piece, fold it over, and um, attach it there with hot glue through the middle. All right, let's attach his arms now. All right, the guy needs a couple buttons on his jacket, so I'm just removing them off my sleeves. Next, I wanna line his ears with the green plaid. Same exact way we did it for the girl. As I glue these in, I remember I forgot to insert the wire. <laughs> so it makes it a little bit harder to insert the wire after gluing the ribbon because as you know, hot glue makes the layer stick. Uh, so I recommend inserting the wire first there. Uh, makes it much easier. Still can be done. <laughs> Look at this handsome fella. <laughs> uh, well, velvet catches everything. I need a lint roller for him. <laughs> and with his cat and tail and some feathers, I mean fur. <laughs> He is ready. Isn't that the most handsome bunny? But I want to take it up a notch. Uh, I have an old paper towel tube here and I want to make a top hat for him. I'm gonna wrap it with the beautiful velvet ribbon that the girl has the bow made out of. I 
I need to cut one more strip to cover the top of the hat. You simply gonna hat glue the ribbon on top of it. And now you can cut away all the excess uh, ribbon, the pearls, what not. And now you can wrap it around with the ribbon. And now for the brim of the hat, we're going to cut out a circle out of the remaining um, cardboard. And we are going to cover that circle with the ribbon. It is not wide enough. Uh, so we're just going to have to cut two pieces. Of course, trim away the pearls. We're going to use them for later. We're not wasting anything here. <laughs> Trim away the excess and then decorate your brim with the pearls, any other trim or twine that you might have on hand. I'm just using those pearls that were the edging of the ribbon. Here you go. We're gonna make sure when we glue these two on top of each other that the seams are in the back. Look at that cute little pink hat. Real men are not scared of pink. Let's try it. Hmm. Look at that. Those big ears are in a way. How are we going to do this, huh? <laughs> All right. I have no choice. Close your eyes. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean to be brutal again, but I have to chop this off just for a moment. I'll put you back together. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, little bunny. You're going to be more handsome than ever. <laughs> Beauty hurts sometimes. <laughs> That's what my mother used to say when she pulled my ponytails. <laughs> okay, one last thing. I'm just going to put a pin through the back to make sure the hat stays on. Ouch! 
Ouch. <laughs> So handsome, just when you think you're done, another thing comes to mind. He needs those wired glasses, don't you think? That's going to look so sharp. I'm just going to use a bottle here to have a perfect round lens. Uh, you can use anything round around the house. I got one lens and then I need to leave a little bit space for the nose. And then do the second one. Just wrap the wire around the bottle. And when you take it off, you're going to have two lenses and then you can cut off, leave a little bit for the handle and trim it off. Then you can bend the ends like it goes around the ear. Although the bunny's ears are all the way up there, so I'm going to adjust it later. <laughs> Let's see how they fit. Not bad. <laughs> what do you think? All right, let's just put them on. And what I'm going to do is just push those handles in the back of his head. <laughs> you know what, that way they're not going to fall off. All right, that's going to be it. Ready to see the handsome fella? <laughs> Aren't they the cutest? Oh my goodness. I don't think you can tell there used to be a dollar each, right? <laughs> and by the way, this is not the first time I have upgraded the Dollar Tree bunnies. Last year, I created this beautiful centerpiece with the little guys. I know the fuzzy friends are back and I'm sure they would love to get a makeover from you. <laughs> well, I have one more adorable DIY to go with them, but let me just show you. I sat down uh, to have my coffee and look at cocoa. <laughs> no, you cannot have a donut. Too much sugar for you. Too much for me too. <laughs> Coco, you gotta stop. Let me have a moment for myself. I want to watch some TV. All right, another one comes now. <laughs> Coco, you want to have a Cheerio? Here you go. Now, this one wants coffee. No, you're going to drown in my cup. <laughs> You see what I'm dealing here with? <laughs> All right, I got one more, the cutest DIY for you. All you're gonna need is just this trellis from the Dollar Tree and a small bucket, that's also Dollar Tree. I'm also gonna paint it, so whatever paint you have on hand. Grab your wire cutters because we're gonna use just a portion of this. We're just going to work with this portion and I'm trying to just open this up and then I break off the scroll. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to figure this out as I go. The idea is in my head, but uh, let's see if I can translate it here. I'm thinking to put the little bucket in here and actually we're going to turn it this way. That's going to be our little handles there. Let me just bend it. A little bit too long. Yeah, that's going to be our handles. Do you know what I'm going to do yet? Bend those handles upwards a little bit and then put the bucket like this. And we're going to remove the excess here.
and I'm thinking to put the scroll right here to the front. Do you see it? A little garden cart on wheels, of course. <laughs> Here's my Bengal bracelets. <laughs> We're gonna use two, just like that. Great idea? I think so. The challenge is to put it all together. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it work. First, let me cut some spokes for the wheels. To glue these together, I'm gonna have to use Gorilla glue sticks because uh, the Dollar Tree glue sticks don't bend metal. But there's uh, Dollar Tree glue sticks in my gun right now, so I just wanna use it up. That's why I'm cutting up my pool noodle. I'm gonna use up my glue there. I'm preparing the bucket because I'm probably gonna make a floral arrangement out of the bucket. All right, so I got my Gorilla glue in there now and let's put this card together. By the way, if you don't have bracelets for the wheels, you can use your hoop earrings, you can use uh, jarlets, you know, you can get creative, anything like that will work. I'm being careful not to add too much glue because with these wheels, everything will be showing. <laughs> but at the same time, I do want everything to bond well. Okay, one more wheel. All right, and now the bucket. I think I wanna suspend it a little bit up. And I wanna put that scroll up front. It's gonna be the easiest to just turn it upside down and glue it to the bottom of the bucket. We need a bandaid on top, a little piece of ribbon. <laughs> As I turn it around, I see how I need to tweak it, raise that bucket up a little bit, and also the handles, they're too low. We need to bend them upwards. Yes, this is more like it. Uh, once I like the way that it looks, I'm just going to hot glue it in place. I'm trying to make it work uh, sort of like a wheelbarrow. I hope you understand the concept. I'm just trying to reinforce it all over with some more hot glue. What's missing here? How about some handles? I'm gonna use two wooden beads. All right, let's paint. I cannot wait to see this beauty. Ta-da! <laughs> what do you think? Because I love it. Let's fill up this garden cart with some vegetables. We're gonna get some carrots, some herbs, parsley, cabbage, what else? Maybe some spring flowers and eggs, some garden tools. Let's go for it. <laughs> We're gonna start off by upgrading the carrots and if you watched my video last year you already know how I'm gonna do this. 
Just pull off that cheap grass that comes with the Dollar Tree carrots, save the pin, and attach the beautiful greenery. Use a little bit of hot glue to reinforce it, and ta-da! <laughs> Brand new amazing looking carrots. <laughs> For more detailed instructions or how to make your carrots from scratch, all different colors and types, refer back to the old video. Next, we're gonna cut up all our greenery and florals. And next, we're gonna load up our cart. The keyboard, load up. We're not arranging anything. We're gonna make it look like two bunnies went to the garden, digged up some carrots, picked up some flowers, and they bring the cart full of goodies, yes? <laughs> they even picked up some eggs. We gotta glue these in, cause they roll out. <laughs> Very casual. We don't want it to look like a floral arrangement. And if you have any empty spots in between, we're gonna fill these in with the greenery, because I'm afraid if we put moss, it's gonna look like a floral arrangement. <laughs> As I step back, I see what's missing. Like for example, here looks like we need an extra egg. To bring a little bit more pink from the other side, we're gonna have to add maybe a pink butterfly here. It comes from one of those grass bushes from the Dollar Tree. Let's add some of those miniature tools. These come from the Dollar General, but uh, I'm sure you can find them at a Dollar Tree in like fairy garden section. Also, I have these cute little stickers. I'm thinking to add a little bee or lady bag there as well. Little cherry on the top, as we like to call it. <laughs> I feel like one more crocus up here and we are done. Right, and let's bring our bunnies now. <laughs> I just want to give them something extra, maybe a little flower for the lady. It's too big, I think, maybe a smaller one so it doesn't take away. And we got the rake for the gentleman. And they are ready. <laughs> and if you are wondering, they're a good 12 inches tall and they are ready for their walk. my besties so this is it for today thank you so much for watching i hope you had enjoyed this video and uh, i'm keeping my fingers crossed that you're gonna find those adorable bunnies and give them a cool makeover i'm looking forward to seeing what you could do uh, please share your pictures with me on my facebook page i actually have a group of my diy besties which i'm gonna link below 
and uh, see you in the next video, okay? Take care, my besties. See you next time. Bye-bye. Baby, what are you doing back there? <laughs> And now, as promised, few video clips from our trip to upstate New York. My brother's friend has a huge property there, and we had so much fun on the snow. My brother has snowmobile, and he pulled the kids on the tubes, and we were sledding. It was so much fun. <laughs>